how you can get $17,500 in cash for free. That's what I'm talking about today. All right, did that get your attention guys? Well, I hope it did. This is for all the people right now that's looking to buy a home and you might not have down payment money saved up, closing costs, things like that. So I'm talking about Bank of America's two grant programs that's basically, you ain't gotta pay this money back. That's what a grant is, okay? It's subsidized by the government. They work the deal with Bank of America. You know, they're one of the biggest corporations in the United States, stimulating the economy, things like that. Plus they want your business, okay? But if you're in this kind of situation, you know, where you're looking to buy a home this year, you just got married, you're just having a kid, uh, you know, you, you, you're tired of living in that one bedroom apartment, you know, uh, and you got a baby coming up, or maybe you already have children, whatever the case, your scenario, let me tell you, there are advantages with these types of programs, and I'm here to tell you that Bank of America has two of them, and I'm gonna tell you exactly what you need, what you qualify for, how to go about applying, and give you some tips on how to make this process really smooth, okay? Now, don't forget to share this with your friends and family or someone that you know that may need this information because maybe they're in the process of looking for a home as well because no time in the United States history that it's been cheaper to borrow money, okay? Now, if you looked at my last video, Unfortunately, in 2021, the median average cost in the United States for a home, right, single family home, is about $400,000. Look it up on Google if you don't believe me. All right, that's not to say that you live in this part or that part, because these grants, they're being allocated right now in about 216 counties and cities across the United States, and it's uh, expanding uh, as, as we speak. Now, the Bank of America went in, they did what's called the Community Reinvestment Act um, that the law passed where they went ahead and um, they asked the government for $5 billion to enforce or to allocate these funds to provide and stimulate the economy as well, right? Now, the thing is, these funds aren't gonna last long. So if you're looking, you're in the market, um, definitely, you know, Get on this right away as fast as you can and share with all your friends and family, definitely. Basically, these grants will cover your down payment and it will also cover your closing costs in a total amount of no, not exceeding $17,500, okay? So down payments are usually around 3% to 3.5% if you're dealing with the guidelines of FHA. Now, what Bank of America is doing is they're doing it structuring it as a conventional loan. So basically it's 3%. So going back to the average price in a home in America, right? what I say? It's 400,000, right? So do 3% of that. You're roughly gonna pay anywhere from, you know, 10,000, let's just put it this way. 3% or what's lower, it's gonna be about $10,000, okay? On the home, all right? Now you have closing costs. Once you get approved for the down payment assistance program, you can also be automatically approved for the closing cost program, all right? And closing costs will cover, you know, title fees, um, you know, any kind of, um, you know, appraisal fees, uh, taxes, docs, stamps, things of that nature. They'll cover up to about 7,500 of that. So typically, if you're looking to buy a house, you're gonna have some kind of money saved up anyway. You might not have enough or what have you, and this can help you because you don't have to use it all, but whatever can help, can help, okay? Um, so these are the pluses, right? You're probably thinking, oh, that's great, but man, what's the catch, right? Well, I could talk about a couple negatives about it. Well, the negatives are, you know, it's considered income in the sense of them giving you the money. You still gotta pay taxes on it like everybody else, right? Uh, the other thing is that it's not for every, neighborhood or county in the United States. So you gotta check with your local branch to find out. Again, I am not an employee, neither uh, of Bank of America. 
I used to be a mortgage broker, so I know how these things work, but I think that this is definitely valuable for those that are looking to buy between now and the end of the year. And again, it's money that you don't have to pay back, okay? Um, and even if you've been pre-qualified with another lender, you can always take your information and go to Bank of America, okay? Because I think this is something that people need to take advantage of, especially if, you know, like I said, you're tired of, you know, living in that one bedroom apartment, you're, you know, or, or whatever your situation is, you definitely, definitely, you know, want to take advantage of free money, okay? What do you need to qualify for these grants, okay? The number one thing is you need at least a 640 credit score, okay, to qualify, all right? So people that are uh, working on their credit right now and whatnot, I also have some videos on that uh, to help you boost that score up real fast because remember, these funds uh, aren't gonna last forever, okay? They're probably gonna diminish like the stimulus money uh, by the end of the year. So if you're looking, you might wanna get, you know, get on the phone, get to your local branch and start asking, okay? So 640 credit score minimum, uh, the income level. Now, again, like I said before, it's only in about 216 to 230 some cities and counties in the United States. You gotta find out if uh, by talking to Bank of America, you know, whether or not you're in that spectrum, okay? Now remember, um, just because they don't have that particular grant program, um, local municipal municipalities um, have like these kind of programs. You just gotta like know how to research them. Wherever you're at, you know, go to your, you know, you know, website of your secretary of your city that you live in, kind of look in there and search you know, any grant programs, because there's a lot of state funding that also provides this kind of, the same kind of service here. It's not just Bank of America. Bank of America is being promoted right now because obviously, you know, they're a big, gigantic corporation, you know, and everybody knows who they are. But based on your local city and municipality, go to your secretary of state, because there's a lot of state funds. I know Miami-Dade, where I live, Miami-Dade has those kind of programs. Broward County has those kind of programs that if you just look, you will find. So don't get discouraged there, guys, all right? Just do a little research on the internet to find out, you know, what programs the state has for first-time home buyers, okay? This has to be your primary residence. You gotta have a minimum FICO score of 640, and you gotta be within the income limits, whether you're together, joint, single, you gotta fit those criterias. I was speaking to a rep at Bank of America and even as a joint um, filing, you could be around $150,000, dollars $160,000. They'll still approve you. Just everything is based on those kind of parameters. And if they're not and you're outside those guidelines, remember, it's not the end of the day. It's not the end of the world. Do a little more research. Go out and, and look into your local state funding, okay? A lot of, lot of states and a lot of counties, they have these uh, funds available, you know, but they don't, you know, promote it the right way. And I'm just letting you know, no matter where you're at, no matter where you live, if you're not qualified for the Bank of America one, don't feel discouraged. Do a little research and find out, okay? It's similar. I know, like I said, these programs were out there, not just Bank of America's programs, okay? So... I'm going to close out, but I want to let you know a couple things so that you know this, okay? All right. Like I said in my last video about 2021, all right? This is the, the best time in the history of the United States where it's the cheapest time to borrow money, right? Okay. What happens is you've got an influx of buyers now, all right? But what happens is you don't have the demand. We don't have enough. You got the supply, you don't have enough demand. Well, excuse me, we, you have the demand, but you don't have enough supply, meaning the inventory of homes for sale, you know, has lowered. So what happens there in a competitive market, okay, is that sellers, uh, they can be picky on who they want to give, you know, the offer or accept the offer, if you will, okay? That's great. You know, you're willing to pay above market value. You really love the home. Cool. You know, um, 
You don't need a seller contribution. That's another key thing that sometimes sellers will give, you know, some, they'll contribute a percentage or some money towards your closing costs. Okay. Now remember the program consists of down payment up to $10,000 max and closing costs up to 7,500 max. All right. Which will cover like appraisal title, uh, you know, broker fees, uh, doc prep, you know, state, local taxes, you know, things of that nature, your, your standard closing costs when you buy a property. Okay. But again, competitive market, you want to be competitive, you want to be aggressive. And, you know, obviously if you're going for these type of programs, the bad part about that is that when you're dealing with a big company like Bank of America, um, your time is very precious. Okay, what's the first thing if a seller is trying to sell their home? They want to sell it to the first available, I'm gonna say first available, the first person that's got the best option to close. Okay, I'm gonna choose the guy that's got a better chance to get this money to me fastest, right? Now, dealing with Bank of America and you're dealing with these programs, that could be a delay there. Now, the delay, don't get too scared. The delay could be, you know, a couple weeks, if that so let's say you got about a 45 day from beginning to end process here right um that's just because there's different you know variables to the situation it's just not like one loan you're bringing in money and call it a day no it's a couple different variables all right but don't i don't want you to get confused okay i just want you to know that if somebody comes in but they're putting down you know 10 percent and getting a loan for only 90 percent the bank's gonna close a lot faster with that guy because he's putting a lot more money down, a lot more risk, things like that. Now, you know, not to say that, you know, you're not gonna get the loan or you are gonna get the loan or however you wanna look at that. I'm just saying that being competitive is a number one factor here, okay? Now, I'm gonna close out also by saying this. In my next video, I'm gonna talk about how to choose the right realtor to help you out in this whole process. Someone who's knowledgeable, someone who knows the market, someone who has connections with the financing. Maybe they're tied in with a couple uh, mortgage brokers that can help expedite this situation a lot faster. See, that's what people don't understand. It's not only that, oh, well, I'm gonna go to the bank, they're gonna take care of everything. Yeah, sure, they have title people, they have realtors, I'm sure, they have brokers, mortgage, they have the whole bundle there, yes. But the key to this whole situation is finding that right realtor that's gonna help you find that home, that knows the market, that's very aggressive, that knows how to negotiate, okay? That knows how to negotiate with the other realtor. Because at the end of the day, yes, the seller does have the power, but if that realtor knows how to talk and convince this realtor because at the end of the day they have a commonality here they're both trying to make that commission right so i'm a realtor i'm going to convince that realtor to convince his seller that i have your best possible opportunity to make that money in the fastest why because i have this that third you know all these resources that i'm putting into the equation or they have a record or they have a history in this market and they're known, so they already have their team. They may know the listing agent. So those are things that you know um, you want to think about. But I'm gonna I'm gonna make a video. You know, I want you to if you, if you like this information now and it's helpful, don't forget to share it with your friend uh, friends and family. Like, hit that like button. Definitely smash that subscribe button because I'm gonna tell you how to pick the right realtor or mortgage broker that will get you the deal, what things to look for, all right? So I hope this helped. Anyway, uh, good luck with that. And any questions, definitely uh, go ahead and you know DM me there. Uh, and for those people that did apply, uh, also, you know, comment below and say, hey, you know, I got approved, you know, this is what I got, blah, blah, blah. If you wanna talk about the process, you know, I'll definitely share it with everybody else. Um, you know, it, it's a community here. We're all here to help each other. Um, I hope it can make an impact on you. I hope you can get your dream home and I hope this message helps and till next time.